obviously there's been a lot of attention around the world on what's going on in Israel and their fight against Hamas. Uh, t- check out this clip from Douglas Murphy, who kind of lays out a lot of the a lot of the bullet points of what's going on uh, in a very clear and articulate way, as usual. Take a look. Started with a peroration about me not mentioning the Palestinian casualties. That's because I started by mentioning the war. And there is no law of war that says you're allowed to start a war and then complain when you lose it. And and if Mehdi cares about the Palestinian casualties, as I'm sure he does, then tell your bosses in Qatar to tell their friends in Gaza to stop the war and give back the hostages. Um, <laughs> Gideon says nothing, Israel needs nothing more than criticism. As <laughs> if Israel doesn't get criticism, wow, he doesn't even read his own country's press. Um, uh, by the way, you said the other day in an interview, Gideon, I couldn't care less about the Jewish state. So we know very well where you're coming from. Um, let me just say a couple of things about the, about, that I didn't get to in my opening remarks, but are important. You know. If you didn't throng the streets of this city or any other for the actual genocide going on in Sudan, not the one that Mehdi and Gideon pretend is happening, but the actual genocide going on in Sudan, if you didn't spend weekend after weekend doing that, but you did come out for the post-October the 7th protests, you're an anti-Semite. If... If... If, like, maybe you once sent a tweet condemning that, it doesn't give you quite enough smoke cover. You know, if you protested not a bit, didn't set up a tent when Bashar al-Assad was killing six times the number of people in a decade that Israel and all of its enemies have lost in 75 years of war, you are an anti-Semite. And... I would just add one other thing. I know that the media has tried to reframe the motion. I'm not going to allow it either. You know, maybe there is somebody in the world. Pakistan was invented, created as a state around the same time as Israel. I reckon that if this debate tonight was about Pakistan, Pakistan started a lot of wars. It suffered a lot of wars. It suffered a lot of casualties, caused a lot of casualties. But you know what? If somebody said, I don't, I think Pakistan should be abolished. They just don't have the right to a state, and although they had one set up for them many decades ago, we should abolish it. I think people would say, hmm. And then if the person said, oh, by the way, although I want to abolish that state, I have no problem with the Pakistani people. Please, please, of course you would. I think there are two points that Douglas Murray makes over here that are worthwhile of repeating. Number one, the war ends tomorrow if the hostages are returned. I think we people get so caught up in, in all of the other uh, details of what's going on and forget the fact that there are still many, many hostages still being held in captivity by Hamas. That's number one. Number two, uh, another fair point that I think Douglas Murray makes is this idea that if you are uniquely focused, if you are if you are uniquely concerned with what is going on in Israel and their supposed genocide, but ignore all of the other actual lives that are taking place in that region by governments against their own people, if you're uniquely focused on what's going on in Israel with the supposed genocide over there, perhaps your hatred, perhaps your aggravation and frustration is not coming from a place of actual frustration against a genocide. Perhaps it's coming from a different place, which Douglas Murray, uh, I think, correctly calls anti-Semitism. Every human being is created in the image of God, and the death of any innocent human being is certainly something that is an absolute tragedy. At the same time, it's important for us to realize that the war over here is not against Muslims, not against Palestinians, not against Arabs, not against any particular people. It's against a terrorist organization which seeks the annihilation of Israel and Jewish people worldwide. The war is against Hamas and other terrorist organizations that seek 
our utter destruction. Let's always remember that's an important idea to, to keep in our mind. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, please consider hitting that subscribe button in the corner for more great content.